Okay, I'm back. Took the reading. See over here. I got my clamp with a wad of forage in there. It's got some uh, vetch and brome grass and I think some bluegrass in there. And then I went and put, you can see the, the green sap, plant sap in there. Put that in there. And then let's see if I can get, oh, here we go. I'm going to get lined up here. Uh, this is hard to do. I'm trying to get it lined up for you. Uh, you just caught a glimpse of it. There it is. About four and a half on the brick scale, which is what we've been averaging. It's uh, almost two o'clock in the afternoon, which is a lot better than what we started with here, which was one, one and two on the brick scale. So the bulk of these animals are beef cattle. These right here are dairy animals. The black and the red ones are beef animals. And in order to put weight on these cattle, the bricks, the sugars, the carbohydrates, the energy in the plants has to be as high as possible. So that's what we've been doing here with the plant grazing, rotating them a lot quickly through the whole pasture system. This is their third time through here. And now we're adding wood ash, going to be adding poultry, uh, composted poultry litter. And we've been subsoiling and seeding to unlock some of the minerals that are in the soil already. But the bricks is one of the key indicators for energy in the plant and how much weight gain we're going to get here on the farm. So with about an average of a five bricks, we're getting uh, our daily gain average is about uh, 1.7 pounds per day on these cattle and our first weighing early in the season we were just one and two bricks we were at 1.1 pounds a day gain so we're gaining on it with just uh, what I consider minimal inputs because we haven't added any of the uh, soil amendments or anything to achieve those results that was just the the grazing management and having cattle here on the farm so until next time, this is Eric Noel at Health Hero Island Farm.